Okay, being old black folks, and basically we are here at, we love the Canadian and French uh, tower and all the towers. Basically, they're, everybody's, I think, pretty much got a telescope over there in Hawaii. But as you can see, that these dark shadows are shadows that are objects that are in around the sun, front, behind, 360 degrees in a bubble. And that's what you got to remember when you're looking at a lot of that stuff at the sun and stuff like that. You're in a goldfish bowl. Earth is in a goldfish bowl. We are in space. We are in the universe as we are in the solar system. Okay, so these shadows, they always are there, and then they disappear because the sun goes down, and they're not shadowed anymore. They're not shadows anymore of, and then, yes, we know that they're not bright stars. They are actually more than likely planets, dead stars, because the idea that they're not showing up bright on the constellation map. Now, I could be wrong. You go back and check them. Now, what I'm not wrong about is the idea that that's not no flipping satellite and that's not no flipping stars. That's not no planes going by. And all you do is watch your clock and they've got it slowed down. And I think the Canadian and French guys like it. Now, there are certain planes on the very low horizon, okay, ladies and gentlemen, but planes don't get up that fast. And yes, we have military planes that can get maybe a tenth of the fast of what we see those asteroids, stars, close objects, uh, maybe very, very, very low satellites that we've got. But as you watch the minutes, that's the hour. The 20 is the hour, or the 20th hour. Those are minutes that go by. Planes don't go take off that damn fast. Now, I do agree that the idea that more than likely that was a plane that was down there, okay, that was moving slower, okay? But when we see all that, those are not flipping airplanes. Too flipping fast. No, they're not flipping UFOs either. Okay? So, we can back this up again real fast. There's the shadows, because those are planets and or stars that are in front of the sun. Objects material, and as they disappear. And as you can see, that there is quite a large amount of them. Okay? I.e. the old NASA footage from the all the Apollo missions. Where were the flipping stars at? That's correct. Uh... Just Cold War stuff, basically all that amounts to. That's simple explanation and over with right there, done and over with. Okay, I'm not even going to harp on it anymore. I, I never really harped on it. I just basically have thrown actual factual data and truth out there to people that you can see. Now, yeah, that more than likely is an airplane way down low underneath those clouds as that came across. Now, do we have, and I don't care, do we have new radar? Quite possibly. Who knows? Who cares? I mean, you know, not blowing that out at all. Uh, light propagation radar, quite possibly, who knows, it works, I bet, if we do have it, and otherwise, that's asteroids, stars, or anything moving along in that fast light in our atmospheres, okay, we have a lot of at atmospheres, I've showed factual that, you got to watch all my videos, and you can get, learn all kinds of stuff, and that was more likely an airplane there to the left, okay, under the clouds, ladies and gentlemen, okay, not above and over like that, and no, and if it is lightning, then it's dry lightning, and it is atomic radiation from Fuka Fudjup. And we will show you some radiation in a minute. Now, I'll go ahead and just enjoy the night sky here, ladies and gentlemen. All these planets are out there. There's tons of stars and tons of planets in our solar systems, our universes. That's right, folks. And do black holes exist? Yeah, can't prove it to me yet, okay? And then with all those, and then, because basically I think that they all are wrong on it and the idea that they're, now I'm not saying that there absolutely is no black hole, but what all they are, scientists and all the thing with the Hubble, they can zoom in on a bunch of stuff and they can see this stuff happening. How do they, they, they haven't straight flat out said, hey, we, no matter what, or better life on it, that that is a black hole and it's not a solar system emerging or a planet, or a star cluster, or anything emerging in space and, and basically being developed by just whatever. Okay, so let's go to Casey and see what they got going on. Okay, there's a couple places in the world you wouldn't want to be today because either there is a big earthquake or going to be a big earthquake, or they're not monitoring. Okay, because one way or the other, underneath the ink or over the ink, they're trying to save paper and they're not. Okay, and then also down in Brazil. Okay. So that's there from the graphs on data, and we're going to basically, I might as well just throw you ahead and show you the Liars Club here and the Truthers Club, because you'll see the cities to the right, 
and they finally updated on our backup because we have Januarys and we'll just slowly scroll through here start out in San Bernardino remember 130 CPM this is all CPM RADS beta this blue graph so there are certain places that it's pretty decent and there's places that lie and don't tell you where, what's going on and then there is places that lie and don't tell you what's going on and there's places that might have the volume turned down too you just don't know but there's places that are honest and Fort Smith, Arkansas, and Little Rock, Arkansas. So there's big differences. So the idea that more than likely the theory in actual fact that radioactivity does appropriate to radioactivity. Okay, Fort Smith, Arkansas, more than likely atomic bombs in planes. Not for sure, but there looks somebody made a mistake a long time ago. Okay, a lot of people made a mistake, and they're not here no more. And here we go with basically just sharing truth and data what's going on there and then either not lying or being untruthful and then you get that now remember 130 CPM used to be rated and you can go look government regulations and so forth you know safe working conditions okay so forth and so on and then they used to want you 130 okay and there wow Bakersfield love you for actually finally showing what's going on in the world I guess they seen that the idea, you know, the rest of the country and the world's all screwed up. We might as well show the truth. Because they were playing for a long time. So, there you go. Bakersfield makes the news. Hello, Bakersfield. Ah, uh, there you go, and there you go. And Fresno gets up and joins the Truther Club. Okay, and there you go. And there you go, L.A.'s Truther for a long time. Have been shown, and yes, folks, that's January whatever 20 something over there to the right. Okay, so these are back up to current. They had it cut off at like June. Okay, so I guess a bunch of mothers, this, that, or whatever, and ladies, thank you because the idea that there had to be a bunch of people bitching somewhere, and not just, and I'm sure there was men that bitched too. Okay, so everybody, uh, so that the idea, that, and then you can see some people will have the, certain excuses. Okay, and then. Well, Colorado, bitch and moan that you want yours back up, working there, and Denver's working, okay, so that shows some truth, and then uh, Grand Junction does decide they don't want to, Hartford decides it's time to quit showing something, and then uh, there have been certain assholes on the internet that have screwed up the idea of the volume ain't on there no more, okay, but you can see the truth here in this here, and it wasn't, uh, you know, those assholes that did that, it wasn't assholes, they were basically sharing you truthful data, ladies and gentlemen. And then someone with power decided to say, you know, don't show the volume anymore and start cheating the volume. And they did. And it's never going to be forgotten. There's plenty of Americans that seen it, plenty of world people that seen it. And the Internet is still linked up, and a lot of stuff has been shared out there, okay? So a lot of places still showing, telling the truth, and not hiding nothing. So... And then we just keep on scrolling down here, and you can always freeze this whole movie and, and get a look. Uh, if I I don't really have no apologies, just throw the data out there and share it as fast as we can. And this is all updated pretty much. And there is the website on top, so you can go ahead and go to that website. Please don't overwhelm it. Try to keep it hush hush. I would make sure that you don't have any sharing capabilities out there at all, and make sure that you only allow certain assholes in to see certain things at certain times that you want them to see. Okay. Because that's what I do, and then I slam the door shut. Okay? So, anyway, let me go to some... And this doesn't change too often, and then pretty much the last video before this one, you want to go watch it. And you go watch all my last half dozen, dozen. Basically, you got to get around to watching all my videos. And the video just before this one, uh, basically, there you go. Mercury and Venus should have been the only objects in it. And I'll try to share my videos. Basically, just go to the last... You go to my homepage, and you will see the videos. Casey Station is not going to disappoint us. It's, they're going to show us some real actual factual data. Again, ladies and gentlemen, you see the clocks and everything moving around, and this is the 25th. And you are going to see our one of our one of the world, one of the universe's suns of the supergiants, and also the orbiters that orbit around it, because that thing moves around. Sometimes it's there on that side, and sometimes it's not there at that side. But it's pretty much like a real good watch that it shows up. And then it's only around, as you see the clock, we're in the PM hour there, and if you pay attention that when it comes around, 
should be AM. Never for sure what they have the clock set up, but that is a PM clock. And as you see, as we go to AM hour, and it's only there for a certain amount of time, and then goodbye. That's not the sun, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes the sun. Okay. And as they get 23 to 24 hours of daylight down there this time of year. Uh, they have, when are they going to ever admit that they basically, because it's more than one sun possibly, that we've always had 23 to 24 hours of sun in, down there? Don't know. But the idea that we do know that super giants exist, and we know that that object right there that you just seen come by, and I will show it to you again, it comes by there, and I don't know if we'll put this play through all the way to the end, and it might come up again if the clock goes that long. But here she comes, little baby sun, and it's moons or whatever, because that's a star with whatever moon or object that it has that rotates, and there's way more than one object, and we've shown and proven that. We've proven a lot of stuff, you know, black. Truth, data, and sharing, educational purposes, and so forth and so on. And wow, look at all the damn scientists down there. Holy scientists at conventions. Must be nothing to look at down there, ladies and gentlemen. And I bet you if you slow this down and zoom that in, you're probably going to see some military uniforms. So anyway, not much happening down there. And no reason for anybody to be down there. Just some scientists. And there's not very many of them. As you've seen them all come out. I wonder what there was to look at or if it was just uh, happy hour somewhere or something. But Because we've seen a lot of them come out there. It must have been a meeting of the minds or something. So, let's rewind that footage there so we can see that action again. Yep. Hardly anybody down there. Hello, everybody down there. How's everything doing? Huh? So, hope the beginning of the new year is doing good for everybody. And here we go. And there she goes. So, all this stuff is real, and it's out there, ladies and gentlemen. So let's see it. Casey, let's take a look at Casey. I mean, uh, apologize. Let's go to Nehemiah. And we got the same more than likely. And wow, we get some really good a action from there. So let's get this blown up to like 150 and see that go by. And as you can see, I'm not going to fudge you. We got the clocks and stuff there. But I'm going to move it up so that we can see, because we've seen that action, and we got all that uh, basically movie playing action from the sun and all the objects in the supergiants because you've seen that a minute ago and there was another object that came in and we should see some more and there you go there's a clock there and I'll just come down a little bit yep that's a snow groomer going out there and if you freeze this you will see objects in the sky that come by when our friend from there in space you see the rotating it around and how it moves around and there you go those those uh holograms that we get from that and I think I can just go ahead and go up here and I'll back up real fast and I'll be able to get back to that and as you've seen that they're at the very end there that that came back around that rotates around there's a lot of stuff that rotates around those suns of the supergiants or whatever they are that have fallen out of the supergiants main sequence and or the sun basically we know that for a fact is in and there you go there is your objects back and forth bam 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 and they look like birds folks and they're not those are holograms from remnants from the sun and the supergiants, folks. And as you can see, the hour clock there, that is UTC time, and that's a, just before the AM one hour, 23 in the evening. So that's not the sun, and there's your remnants. And as you see, there's almost like three of them, and those are not birds, folks. And yes, they might try to propagate stuff to make stuff look like certain things, maybe. Not sure, but those are remnants, folks. Holograms down here at Earth, black light, okay? There they are. That's wild, folks. That's right there. I'll freeze it for a minute, and there you go. Pretty crazy stuff. So all this stuff is way out there in space, folks. Tens of holograms down here to Earth. Uh, they are probably picking up asteroids. They've been mining asteroids, and asteroids showed that. And then basically you just see this thing come up, and then you can see the hour clock there, 2100. It's coming up at night down there. And if you start watching this, you might find more than one of the suns. And as you see, it goes back and forth. This is way down in Antarctica on our south pole. And it goes, almost seems like it goes north and south. And then it has that orbiters that go around it. And you've seen those remnants a minute ago. So that's stuff. And as you've seen it, it kind of popped there. And then it goes and rotates around it. So even more factual proof, folks. And I don't ever play with the pictures. As we are backing up, and we should get those remnants in again before the time clock goes away. And there they go. There they were again. And there they are. Okay. That stuff is all real. And it is showing up. At Earth. Down in Antarctica. And it's privately, freely sharing. And legally being able to do it. Otherwise they wouldn't be able to have their network work in the United States on the Internet. You see. You have.
Software agreements help everybody.